In this video, I will be showing you the differences between different T90 variants and how to differentiate them from one another, as well as from other similar looking tanks. First and foremost, having the red eyes doesn't have to mean it's a T90 tank. Those red eyes are also known as Stora 1 Dazzlers, and T90 isn't the only tank that has them. In fact, T90 wasn't the original tank to feature the red eyes or the Stora Dazzlers. It was T80 UK tank that got introduced in 1991. T90 was introduced a year later. So, on top of T90, tanks as such as T80 UK, T80 UA and Ukrainian T84 and BM Uplot have the red eyes. T80 UA is especially hard to get mixed up with T90 since they look very similar, but you will recognize that it is a T90 tank by looking at multiple details. First one you may notice is that unlike those other tanks, T90 has a Dazzler is placed on top of the main armor, and not the EREA like the other ones. That means that the Dazzlers are taking up the place on the turret and to compensate, additional small EREA blocks are added next to the gun. Another very distinctive thing about both T80 UK and T80 UA is that they have smoke discharges on top of EREA blocks, while T90 has them on the sides of the turret. You can also recognize it by the fact that no EVA blocks are actually visible on the hull, since they are placed under the big plate. So now that we got that out of the way, let's take a look at different T90 variants and how will you recognize them. First T90 is the T90, it is also known as T90 model 1992. This tank has the same turret shape as T72B, just it's kinda hard to notice from all the things present on the turret. You can notice that it's an original T90 by this distinctive cut under the EVA blocks. So, deserts with small EVA blocks next to them, smoke discharges on the turret sides and the cast turret means it's a T90 or T90 model 1992 tank. Next one up is the T90A tank. To someone who has never looked at the difference between the two, they may be very hard to distinguish from one another. T90A received a welded turret, which when looked at empty isn't hard at all to spot, but again, underneath all that mess it can be very hard to notice. You can see at some angles that the turret has this particular shape. It is not hard to tell the difference from the side, but from the front it can be hard. T90A, because of the welded turret, has a shorter roof armor, and since T90 basically has a descent to B turret, the roof makes a curved shape. This can be seen by looking at the EREA blocks on the roof. The ones on T90 are placed steeper, while on T90A they are placed almost flat. You can also notice that on T90A all EREA blocks are perfectly aligned with each other, while on T90 model 1992 that is not the case. And by looking at the smoke discharges, you can see that on T90 model 1992 the top two are not aligned with the ones beneath, while on T90A they are. And you can easily tell them apart by the fact that two smoke discharges on T90A are moved directly next to the main gun sight. It can also be seen that the sloped cut on T90A's turret is clean, while on T90 it can be uneven. Another thing is the cut in front of the main gun sight. It is very prominent on T90A, while on T90 it doesn't go all the way to the front of the turret. So, while the turret equals T90A tank. While well, differentiating these two is hard, it is not impossible. We should also take a look at T90S tank. This is an export model of T90A tank and has practically no external difference. But buyers can choose not to have dazzlers and instead have additional EREA blocks on the turret. This can be seen on Indian Bishma variant. Iraq has also got the T90S tanks with EREA side skirts. To put it short, T90S tank is basically a T90A tank in foreign service with or without any difference, depending from the buyer. The latest Russian model is a T90M tank. This tank has no dazzlers and instead of Contact 5 now features relic explosive reactive armor. This tank is really hard to be mistaken for any other since it now has a distinctive turret shape, remotely operated machine gun featured on T14 Armata, Sif ammo rack on the back of the turret, CATV, Sosna U and many other features. So, Relic TRA and all of those things make a T90M tank. There is also a T90MS tank, which is an expert model of T90M tank. 
You can tell them apart by the fact that T90MS has a PK machine gun instead of a 50 caliber cord HMG on the remote weapon station, and by the fact it lacks the kind of fishnet looking protection on the turret like the T90M has. That would be all, if you wish you can support me on Patreon, links are in the description, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.